This is 8.5b of algebra. So we're going to factor trinomials, but this case in a um, story problem sort of situation. So we're looking at the area of a rectangle. Okay, if you just think of a rectangle with numerical sides, right? Maybe this is 3 and this is 4. To figure out the area, we do 3 times 4, which is 12. So if we have a rectangle whose area is x squared minus x minus 72, we can factor it to be x plus something, x plus something on the sides, and those will be our dimensions. So then we're just going to treat it like a regular problem. So we're looking for numbers that multiply to negative 72. Whenever that third number, our c, is negative, remember this is where we have the two columns. So we have negative 1 and 72, 1 and negative 72, negative 2 and 36, 2 and negative 36, negative 3 and 24, 3 and negative 24, negative 4 and 18, 4 and negative 18, negative 6 and 12, 6 and negative 12, 7 doesn't work, 8 does, negative 8 and 9, and 8 and negative 9. Okay, a lot of pairs, but now we're looking for the one that adds to be this middle number. This middle number here is a negative 1, right? If there's not a number written in front of the x, it's a 1. So we're looking for the one that adds to negative 1. Well, that's going to be this last pair here, 8 and negative 9. So we get x plus 8, x plus negative 9 which I can simplify to be x plus 8 and x minus 9. So the dimensions are, one of the possible ones is x plus 8 by x minus 9. Okay, so now we're going to look at this trinomial. The biggest difference you should notice is that there are two variables. Okay, we're used to something that would look like this, m squared plus 6m minus 27. But you can notice that there's an n here and there's an n squared here. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this just as if it were a regular one. Okay, we're just going to start treating it normal. So negative 27 we're trying to multiply to. So again, this is a negative number, so I have the two columns. So negative 1 and 27. 1 and negative 27, negative 3 and 9, 3 and negative 9. And I'm looking for the one that adds to a positive 6. Well, it's going to be the 3 and 9 one. It's going to be the one where the 9 is positive. Since my answer needs to be positive, the bigger number is positive. So if we were working with m squared plus 6m, minus 27, our factorization would be m plus a negative 3 times m plus 9, which if we cleaned it up would be m minus 3 times m plus 9. But that's not what we're working with, right? This is not our actual problem. We have n's in our problem. So what we do then, we're going to do m plus the negative 3, and then we tack on an n. We're going to do m plus 9 and tack on the n. If we clean it up, we get m minus 3n and m plus 9n. And that's our answer. So treat it as if it didn't have the extra letter. And then once you get to your answer, you tack on that extra letter. And there's your homework.